Hey everybody, watching Happy Tiger XD. My name's Tiger. I'm playing the Stanley Parable. Okay, tell me what you know. All of his co workers were gone. Yeah, they what were. What could it mean? Don't know. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Maybe I had. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm pretty down to the wire as far as endings go. Um, I had to close... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, the... he entered the door on his left. Yeah, I did. I had to close the program and open it again, so I think a lot of the stuff that had saved itself uh, has probably reset. Yeah, um, there was which not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley Look. decided to go up to his boss's office Hoping he might find an answer there. The broom closet's still open. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So yes. he turned around and got back. Ah, uh, I can be back in my happy place again. Oh, I love it in here. Look, there's a mop and a broom and a bucket. There was nothing here. Wire. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Yeah, there is. Look, there's a socket wrench. Or sh sorry, listen to the socket wrench. There's a shifting spanner. It and was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. I didn't get this commentary last time I was in here. I wonder how long he goes on for. This duct are tape. You, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Because I want Please to be. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. It's nice in here. I like it. It makes me feel safe because I know what's out there. There's rooms and you glitches do and. You there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. Yeah, but, but it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story. What? Yeah, but I'm so in here. Ever. I never would have thought to mention it. Yeah, but the door opened so I could come in and that's, I mean, really, that's what matters, is I had the Maybe option to... Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching path. <clears throat> Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favourite. The broom. I hope your friends find this concerning. My friends wouldn't find this. Do you find this concerning? Did you get the broom closet ending? Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. Ow! He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. Are you told? Or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. How dare you? They're called sex workers, for one thing. And I don't well, I've come take to a anything. Very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. Am I? You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit. And we're just about to leave because there's nothing here. Well, there is stuff here, though. When a physical here, melody of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Is that what happened? Well, in a situation like this, but the I'm responsible talking. thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Oh, yeah? Who are you going to tell? Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. Werewolves he aren't or she dead, they just prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's Stop indicative that. of the long term sustainability of your species. Please remove Stop their that. corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer. You stopped that. Making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. You quit so that. So that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. I am in direct right. control. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Can I still be here? Okay, now I think he's bored now. That's a shame. He's probably giving it a while because he's considering somebody's moving a dead body. Yeah, right, I'll go. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Stop that! I'm not a second player. I am me. I am the same tiger. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. This is Sassmeister 3000. Do you stop that? What was the password? Um... 2845. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Two, Stanley eight, wondered four, in disbelief five. who 
Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. No, because you just hear going on and on and on, oh healthy. my god. So he relaxed for a few moments oh, please, no. with some calming new age music. Uh, I hate new age music. This isn't calming, this is infuriating. Let me play on the piano. Ding, da, ding, ding. Heart and soul. Feeling I feel oh, and Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Open it. There we go. Thank you. Down. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Well, I do feel it a bit a peculiar, but... of emotion in his chest. Really? Though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Are you sure it's not a xenomorph lover? Now, when for years, it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Because, bam, a chestburster popped out of my chest and killed Stanley. Stanley and... walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Okay, I guess I did. Okay. Oh, there's a button and a clipboard. I should push the button, but it's over there. I see something. And this big wall just there. On oh, the door shut. No, let me out. I want to go out. I wish to be free. I don't want to be in here anymore. Can I jump off? I can't jump off. There's so many things that I've been able to jump off so far. I thought maybe. We would have... Oh, look at that. Okay, somebody's got a terrible habit. And also, somebody's very untidy. Hmm. What's down there? Look, there's another walkway down there. I guess that must be how I get over there. I guess if I push the button, then it will light up. Okay, let's light it up. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Ooh. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Okay. I mean, I've seen this in the spoiler ending. Pretty lights. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the Can number of an there? employee no. in the building, oh, that's a shame. Stanley's co-workers. Urgent. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place. I wonder what that says. Oh, I want to read, read that. I want to read that. Such a scathing analysis of modern capitalism. Left. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Hey. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? No. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? No. That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? You are a liar. Oh, probably. I don't know. I don't care. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't yeah, accept exactly. it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly oh, blind like the to the light. world? I don't know, had I? But here was the proof. The heart of the oh, operation. My. Controls labelled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, Buttons. eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he really? would Did dismantle I? the controls once and for all. Okay, where are they? Console disabled, there's just a whole lot of pretty buttons, and this is just a um, glowy thing, I guess. Okay. There's a, oh, there's a big red... I can't press it. Okay, there was a big red button. No, I like big red buttons. I want one. There's a numbered button. Five. Five. Okay. Mind controls. Idle. Awaiting input. Okay. 
And when at last he found the source on. of the room's power, oh. he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Hmm. Did I? But I could turn them on and gain control over this system for myself, and then I'll be all powerful. <laughs> yes. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? Yes. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Yes. Control? Yes. Oh, <laughs> mine. Oh, oh my. Your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. So? If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. Really? I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I, mean, I believe you'll find Have you not person. seen the things I've done? Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Oh. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, oh. eliminating the entire complex. Oh. How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say, um, two minutes. Uh, what if I turn it off? Oh, now this is making things a little more fun, okay, isn't it? I can't Stanley? turn it off. It's um, your time to shine. Come on. You are the star. It's uh, your story now. Okay. Shape it to your heart's desire. Maybe I can run oh, back out to the much office or something. Than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere God, I wish they said a zero five two one zero one two. Okay, so there's numbers. More time and I did see a five about button. About me. Where we're we going. What all this Come means. On. I barely know where to start. Hey, they don't open. What's um, that? You'd like to know where your code is. safe. Are. No, okay, that doesn't work. A moment of solace before Those you're buttons do nothing. All right, I'm in a good mood. What's up you're here? You'll die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I said, "There's a four. Free. Of course, that was merely in this instance Nothing. of the story. Sometimes when Maybe I tell you can it, find I zero one and two, okay, let's find zero one and two, and then dying alone. Other times, I don't want to die alone. I let the alone. sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this though: this version of events has been rather amusing. Why? Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the okay, control and rest it away Where's from the three? Blue? Incorrect. I almost red. hate to see it go. Okay, red. But I'm sure Inc whatever what I the come heck? up with on the next go around will be even better. Oh, would you oh, shut goodness. up? Okay, there's the one. Thirty-four seconds left. There's four so advances much. there. There's a two. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Oh, thank you. These are precious additional seconds, Stan. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or yes, what that's you're supposed correct. to be doing right now? Tell me. You just assume we hint. You saw that timer, that something in this room was capable of turning it off. Yes, I, mean, I did you, actually. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Bigger button. Everything, anything, something here will save me. No. Nope. How would you think that stand? Re-enter password. This video game can be beaten. One the code is a rule for converting a piece of information. No, that okay, that doesn't help. <laughs> <Era. laughs> Stanley, uh, you're in for quite maybe it's a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you: that timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead okay, of watching nothing. a cutscene because I, I want nothing. to watch you for every moment that you're powerless to see you made humble. This is um, not a challenge. Red. It's a tragedy. You Green. wanted to control this world that Yellow. Fine, but Orange, I'm okay, apparently. Yes. Blue. So ah, can't. good. What? Take a look at the clock, Stanley. Green. That's 30 seconds you have Orange. left to struggle. 30 seconds Stop it. Big boom and then no Red. I can't push any buttons anymore. Buttons. Okay, they're broken. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Oh God, they all Make say goodbye now. Oh, don't. It's all the same to me. All a part uh. of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in. Come on, no. Maybe if I can get to the. Up. Button. 
Hey everybody, you're watching Hyper XT. My name is Tiger, and I'm playing the Stanley Parable. And um, even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? I did like? a bad. There was a computer, last time. perhaps, and a painting. Was it so a painting let's or a photo? Try he could no longer recall. Get the best standing. When apparently, came I'm to not a set of two open doors, to... He entered the door on his left. Yep. Apparently, I'm not supposed to be a dick. And I'm not supposed Yet to press the on button. Here either. I guess Feeling I'm supposed to behave. Okay. Decided Let's to go, go back in the broom closet. closet. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Not again! I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Really? Please take your time. Really? I'm waiting. Okay, maybe you're actually not going to say anything. Fine, okay, I give up. Apparently nothing's going to happen there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, I think we all know the drill by yes, now. Yes, we know what blah, happens. Blah, dark secrets, the keypad, Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Thank you for not putting me through that. Now we go down. Do, 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 do. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. And that's my elevator song. Stanley walked okay. straight ahead through the large door that read, read mind, mind Control, control facility. facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed, packed with, with television, television screens. screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he, Did he have, have the strength, strength to find out? out? Come on. Push the button. Now the monitors jumped to the If you're They're ready for reveal. me, boy, Each you got to push the button the and let me Stand know. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. One of these said pirate. Stanley, one of them. I have a friend named Pirate. in this place. Where freedom meant nothing. Hi, pirate. Button. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Here was it this comes. The only reason he was happy with his boring job? I'm distressed by the ones who got fired. Like, I wonder if that means they got murderlided. Murderlated. Murderized. Murdiflopooped. No. He refused to believe Mood it. Glued. He couldn't accept it. His All own life perfectly acceptable words for to be killed never. deliberately it by another human being. Can Wasn't a dog it? murder somebody? Is it even possible? Had he is it murder if a dog like if a dog premeditates the death of somebody? Is that world? still murder? Okay. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled here with emotions. Happy. Or sad. I know or I can't content. do anything except walking, for push the good eating, button. Working, all of it the monitored and button. commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. I have the power for to stop he this. Would dismantle the controls once, once and, and for all. all. I have the power to stop this. Break the cycle. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. And just like that, it's done. It's very dark. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Yes. Was it over? Am I now just trapped in the dark forever? Yes. He had won. He had Neat. defeated the machine. 
unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly Hats. opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? You told me how that... How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? I don't know. What I other don't know. Did you told me that you did all of those but things. But sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized okay. none of this mattered How did they get right here? How did they get to this specific spot? That he had been seeking, but happiness. Really? Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. Oh. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. I understand. That was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. I understand entirely. Stanley stepped through the open door. Here we go. I finally did everything that I was told. I guess this is the end. Um, it's been really great playing this game with you. I know there's one ending that I didn't get where you play the baby game for four hours. But I just don't have that in me. Um, I really don't want this game to be over. This was fantastic. This game was brilliant. Oh my god. Um, yeah, this was awesome. And Stanley oops, felt the I crossed the threshold. Upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. Yep. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. I dig what you said. And Stanley... Was happy. I did what you said and Stanley was happy. I followed the rules and Stanley was happy. That's a silly moral. I'm much happier when I don't follow the rules. I'm back in the office again. Huh. I guess it doesn't stop even when you finish it. Like the loading screen says. The end is never. Um, okay, so... That's it for this episode, I guess. Um, I think there's two endings I didn't get. One of them is random. And one of them is playing that baby game for four hours, which I'm just not going to do. I'll put a link in the description to a person who has done it and with all of their details in it because they, I guess, have nothing better to do than sit around stopping that baby from burning in the fire for four hours. Oh, God, that sounds painful. Um, okay. Um, well... I love you, bye-bye. Hey, um, so I'm playing the Stanley Parable and I just started it up and... Every... this is... This is wrong. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? This office is different. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. This is... The office layout is different. What the heck? Okay. What? Welcome to the whiteboard ending. Console. Bark. Okay, that's telling me to do something on the console. Which is to do bark. Huh. I wonder if anything else is different. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it when Stanley came to a what set of two open doors. Okay. He entered the door on his left. I guess this bit's the same. I'll see you in the next loop, guys.